Yo, what's up, YouTube? I had a uh, viewer in my comments uh, ask for my NVIDIA 3D settings. So without any further ado, uh, here's my settings. The first thing I do is I, uh, you would click, use my preference emphasizing. It's by default set to quality, but if you slide that over the performance, then hit apply. And then hit use advanced 3D image settings after you set this performance, hit apply. <clears throat> after that, you go and hit manage 3D settings. I have my image sharpening set to off, ambient occlusion off, anastropic filtering off, anti-aliasing XF, FXAA off, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode off. Uh, background application max frame rate. I've actually never seen that before. That must be new. It's by default off. <coughs> CUDA GPUs I have set to all. DSR factors. For the love of God, turn that off. <laughs> Low latency mode. I have that turned off. Uh, when I used this on my rig, it ended up making my frame rate worse. Uh, even in the latency, really didn't feel that much different. So I leave it off. Max frame rate, I have off monitor technology, fixed refresh, uh, multi frame sampled uh, AA off, OpenGL rendering, you want to set to your GPU, power management mode, set before maximum performance, preferred re refresh rate is set to application control, but it should be highest available. Glad I caught that. <coughs> Shader cache is on. Texture filtering anastropic sample on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias allow. Texture filtering quality high performance. Texture filtering tri linear optimization on. Threaded optimization auto. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync off. Virtual reality pre rendered frames one. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling off. Uh, hit apply to that. Next, on configure surrounding Phys X, you want to set your Phys X to your GPU. Under change resolution, you want to set this to your monitor's native resolution and your highest refresh rate possible. After that, you want to go to NVIDIA color settings. And I believe the only thing you need to change is out to output dynamic range, which is set to limit. You want to set full. After you hit apply for that, go just, uh, desktop color settings. I set my personally, and this is completely based off of your monitor, uh, what monitor you have and how the colors are on it. I set my vibrance to about 65%. If I've seen somebody set theirs up to like 80, leave it at 50. It kind of just depends on your preference. Next is... Uh, deck... Uh, mm, I always make sure G-Sync is off. I don't think there's anything under desktop size. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Scaling. So you're going to want to set yours to no scaling, perform scaling on GPU, override the scaling mode set by games and programs, and make sure the resolution and refresh rate is correct. After that, uh, I believe you go to video color settings. Yep, and you're going to want to click with NVIDIA settings. Then go to the advanced tab and make sure you click on full, not limited. And then if you go to adjust video image settings, I set these to use NVIDIA settings. I have inverse test line checked. I think it's checked by default, but yeah, I click these two and then leave it at 0% and hit apply. And that's pretty much everything as far as the control All panel right. goes. So now that I have the overlay turned on, if I ever go to the game filter, in this order, I have brightness, contrast, color, and sharpen. It's brightness and contrast. Exposure, for me personally, set to zero. Contrast. Whoa. 
contrast is 30, highlights I set to negative 60, shadows negative 30, gamma at zero. Color, I have mine set to tint color 20%, tint intensity 18%, temperature zero, vibrance, I try to set it close to 55, but you can only get 54.8 for some reason. Then after that, I hit sharpen, sharpen to 70%, ignore fill grain 100%, and that's my NVIDIA game filter. If you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe down below. And hope you have a good rest of your day. Cheers.